Welcome, friends. Today, we're doing a first impressions video. Stupendous. And the fragrances we are doing first impressions on are Eucharist by Joe F. Trumper, Symphonium by Zerzhov, and Ganymede by Marc Antoine Barois. Now, today I received a package from a friend, Nick Nestros. You will have seen him in the comments. And he has been telling me about Eucharist by G.O.F. Trumper. I think we were talking about uh, the scents that James Bond wore. And he, I said that James Bond didn't wear a scent, but Nick said that he thought it was Eucharist. And I was like, I've always wanted to smell that, but I never have. And he was like, oh, I'll send you some. So I said, thanks very much. And so he has. It arrived today. Thank you. I haven't smelled it yet, but I'm very much looking forward to smelling it. The next fragrance is a bit notorious. Ramsey dropped a video the other day doing a first impression on this very fragrance here. Symphonium by the dreaded house of Zerzhov. Boo. So I thought it would be funny, since me and Ramsey have essentially the same taste. Rarely do we disagree on a fragrance. Rarely, rarely. Excuse me, whilst I hydrate. And he slammed this fragrance. I thought he was quite nice about it. Um, quite fair about it anyway. Maybe he's not nice about it, but fair about it. And so I thought to myself, I know what I'll do. I'll get a sample and I'll do it myself. £11 this cost me, this official sample. Somebody's selling them on eBay in the UK. So I have spent £11 of my money on this fragrance. I won't say it's shit because I haven't smelled it yet. But, uh, yeah. I'm not particularly looking forward to smelling this, if I'm perfectly honest. And the third fragrance is a bit of a hype. And that is Ganymede. By Marc Antoine Barois. Now I've got a sample here. And I think I have sprayed this a couple of times. But I can't remember it. Like at all. So here we are. I'm going to try all of these on skin. For me sins. So we'll start at the beginning with Eucharist. Shall we? I am looking forward to this. So thank you Nick N. I appreciate this greatly. If there's anything you want from me. Let us know. So here we go. Decent little sample vial. And straight away I am getting what I assume to be big oak moss. That's a big oak moss fragrance, surely. But overtones of um quorum. Straight away, I'm getting a quorum vibe. That is, uh, that is quite interesting. I like it. I, I'm getting something a bit more from it now. Sorry, I just had to go over to the table. There's something a little bit fresher, almost minty coming through. But not mint, but like that that like green that you get. It's very green. Mossy. I sort of understand how you would think James Bond wore this. It's fresh green. It got that minty sort of vibe to it. Um, I like this. 
very crisp. I think this is the order par fun. But it is very green, very mossy. Getting something a little bit like sweet now. A little bit berry, you know. I don't know what the notes are. I'll have a look. It's a bit woody as well. Excuse me whilst I hydrate once again. Right, so apparently this has got moss, black currant, sandalwood, cumin, coriander, musk, lily of the valley, and jasmine. I don't really get the white florals from it, but I get the moss big time. It's a huge mossy fragrance. It smells like quorum straight away, do you know what I mean? And that's one of the mossiest fragrances there is. Black currant. I get something a little bit berry sweet, but not. I wouldn't say black currant, but that must be what it is. And then sandalwood as well. Yeah, I get like a woody sort of vibe. It's nice, that though. It's really nice. I'm sure he said this was the EDP. I will have a look at the EDT to see if it's any... Let's see if there's like a lot of difference. Um, 1912, apparently, Eucharist was released. No, it's basically the same notes. Black curtain oak moss. Wow. It's really nice, that. That's really nice. I will put that on the list. Of like a list of per like possible purchases. Um, Trumper also does this fragrance here, which is sandalwood cologne. And this smells... Almost identical to Ego East. Very similar. I don't know if um, Sandalwood Cologne came out first or not. But it's beautiful, that. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, next we'll do Ganymede by Marc-Antoine Barwa. 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 Lil Barwa. So this has had... A lot of hype. I remember uh, Zhao from Scented Moments saying that he really likes this stuff. He may even love it. At least I think that's what I remember. But uh, it has had quite a bit of hype. It was perfumed by Quentin Beach, and it's meant to be like a. It's meant to be like like the future of perfume. You know what I mean? Like it's a very modern perfume. Like it's got freshness, it's got like it's got like that saltiness, it's got good synthetic ingredients, it's got exotic ingredients. Um I'll tell you what the ingredients what the notes are. There is mineral notes, fuck's sake. Violet leaf, immortel, mandarin, suede, saffron, osmanthus, and akigala wood. So First impressions, Ganymede, Marc Antoine Bow Wow. Three sprays. Ooh, smell that from here. Yeah, that is very modern. Straight away, I get like the Mandarin. I get the mandarin and the violet leaf. It smells a little bit like, um, oh, what do you smell like? Narciso Rodriguez for him or the toilet. <clears throat> Excuse me. But then it's not. I'm getting the saffron after that. Like a spiciness. Maybe maybe that's the immortel as well. The mineral notes I get. It's almost aquatic, but not. It's well blended. It's well made. Definitely very interesting, very strange. That is really good, to be fair. It smells really good. I cannot tell a lie. Um, 
excuse me whilst I hydrate. This is a very good perfume. Good modern perfume. I don't see why people say that, you know. I'm not sure what Osmanthus smells like by itself. I'm not sure what Akagala wood smells like by itself. But I'm definitely getting... Like, I'm getting the mandarin big time. I'm getting the violet leaf big time. The saffron, the immortal. I can smell all these different notes. But the blend together is actually quite good as well. The mineral note, in quotation marks, that is there big time. But it's, like, underlying everything. If you can imagine, like, uh, like a surface, like a table, like this. You know? Like this, this table. That would be... The surface upon which all the other notes rest on. The, the mineral notes. And then each of the other ones like pops up at different moments. Um, I don't know what it's like in the dry down. I imagine this drying down very strangely. You know? I'm getting like a... I'm getting like a... Like a, like a I'm getting like a... Um, Like a spicy curry sort of thing going on, but a freshness as well. It's very interesting. It's it's doing all sorts of stuff. Um, yes, I quite like that. Quite impressed by that on a first impression. So we'll come back to that after we've smelled this. Now, if you haven't already, I would recommend that you all go and watch Ramsey's video about this. Because it is very funny and very true and honest, you know. Um, I'm just trying to get onto Free Grant to get, to get the notes up. Ramsey trashed this, said. It shouldn't be a $10 fragrance, never mind a fucking $300 fragrance. And he and I tend to agree on almost everything. Certainly perfume related anyway. There's your sample, Symphonium. I thought it was Symposium before that. Symphonium. I don't know, is this the Parfum? Is this the... This is the Parfum. Aha! So, I don't know if he did the parfum or the odour parfum. So we shall have to check. This, he said, smelled like a Terry's chocolate orange. A frightening prospect. Uh, because they are not great at the minute. Um, so let's have a look. What are the notes? No, we'll check the notes afterwards. I'm sure Ramsey said it's got like two different types of oud in it. And I mean, Zerzhov don't use real oud. They're just, I mean, they're just, they're a shit brand. Um, I mean, if they say they use real oud, I mean, like Ramsey said, they say they use real oud. Do they use real oud? Who knows, really? I just, I doubt it very much. So here we go. Five sprays. Let's have a smell. We'll put you back in there. Put you there. Can't smell it yet. Oh. Vanilla. Is there vanilla in this? Yeah, there's vanilla in this. Huge vanilla chocolate. Huge vanilla chocolate with like an orange. You can see the, it's definitely got orange in it. <sighs> do you know, I bet they thought they were really onto something really good when they thought of this. I know we'll do like a chocolate orange vanilla sort of thing and I can't smell any oud. Um, all I can smell at the minute is a sweet ice cream vanilla with a very faint chocolate. 
and orange behind even the chocolate. Vanilla's front and centre for me. The orange is getting a bit stronger. This isn't very nice. Ramsey was right when he said it smells like a Terry's chocolate orange. Um, the problem Zerzhov has got right, I'm going to try and be fair, right? I'm going to try and be fair. The problem Zerzhov has got right is that this will, it sounds like a great idea. Do you like Terry's chocolate orange? Buy this fragrance, you can smell like one. But really, who wants to smell like a Terry's chocolate orange all day? Or for weeks? See, if you buy this as a, if you buy this as a as a perfume to wear all the time, really, do you want to smell like that? Very sweet, very sweet. It's not badly made. It's it's a bad idea. Um. The want hundreds for this fragrance, and it's not worth hundreds. It's not. I'm sure. As a, I'm, I'm. 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 I am sure personally. I am sure in the opinion, in my opinion, that Zerzhov put their prices at a certain point to affect a level of quality that isn't actually there. Does that make sense? Veblen goods. Look up Veblen goods. Uh, products that are priced high to give the effect that they are quality that doesn't doesn't equate at all is this a better fragrance than Encre Noir? no Encre Noir they're not the same fragrance they're nothing similar at all right they're nothing similar at all but what the point I'm making is is that this is 10 times the price of Encre Noir at least It's, it fucking smells quite weak as well. I put five sprays on because those little sample things, their samples are shit as well. They use, um, this is an official sample and they use these, these samples. I will show you, I don't want to spray it because it'll get on me fucking, it'll get on me counter. Um, but if you've seen these sprays, these are cheap sprays. Zerzhoff are an expensive brand, a big expensive brand, and they're using shit quality. Um, they're using shit quality samples. Now, these might be old samples. I don't know. Maybe they're using better ones these days. Um, but when you're charging how much they charge, you, you, everything has to be. They can't. You're only as strong as your weakest link. And I would say at the minute that the samples don't give off the impression that oh that's fucking right anyway the sample presentation it comes in a box yes but their sample presentation and this the quality of the sample vial itself is is low this one by Marc Antoine Barrois a far smaller company and cheaper I assume is better the top straight away off that has this bright orange oil blast of the Zerzhoff I'm talking about. And it smells cheap and it smells alone at the top. Then this big vanilla sort of appears and it's there and the orange is just like relegated to the back behind like the vanilla which comes through and then the chocolate comes in not far behind that as far as i can tell there's no oud in this whatsoever uh, i'd be very surprised if they use oud even a synthetic um but i would be i'd, I'd be incredibly surprised if they used real oud in this This does smell cheap. And if you were expecting us to be contraire 
or if you were expecting us to say something that like maybe me and Ramsey had disagreed on another fragrance, of which there are only like two or three that we can think of, you're wrong. I totally agree with what he said. This is cheap. It's nasty. It was a bad idea. Whoever decided that this would be a good idea to make, or if they, in fact, in good faith, thought this was a good idea, somebody should have stopped them at some point and said, whoa, not a good idea. <laughs> not a good idea. It smells like a chocolate, like a, like a cheap chocolate orange. It's not the notes don't go together well. It's been well, it's been for what it is, it's made quite well. It's been blended quite well and made well. But the idea is bad. You know? It's a bad idea. Um I'll go back over Eucharist. <laughs> That smells so mossy. Honestly, that is so much like quorum. It's unbelievable. Obviously, it's 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 a it's a much older fragrance than quorum. Do you know what I mean? So it like it's not copying quorum. But that's given off an incredibly quorum vibe. I really like that actually. Um but I would probably just stick with quorum for the amount of moss that's in it. It's incredible. It's really nice. But it is essentially a it is essentially just like quorum, just because of the sheer moss that's in it. It is nice though, I do like it. Mark Antoine Barois. That's coming off as a really modern fragrance in that everything seems to be like together as like one smell now. And it's very nice, but I get a feeling I could probably buy a bottle of a couple of ingredients like and put spray them over the top of each other like an ice away super and maybe like a mineral sort of a mineral compound and maybe a citrus as well and they would probably smell very similar i do like it though i would like this this is just a first impression you never know in five hours time the symphonium may turn into one of the world's great perfumes but on first impression it's a shit it so I don't want to be I don't want to be like rude and fucking think because I bash Berserk off all the time. Uh but I'm trying to be serious and fair and honest. You know, like a bash surge off is like a bit of a meme now, you know. Because it's funny because that's what I do. <laughs> um That's not a good perfume. It's just not. Vanilla, vanilla. Vanilla, chocolate, orange. And it doesn't work. So if I had to rank these. Ooh. Simply because I've never smelled anything like it before, I would go Ganymede first, and I would go Eucharist, but not far behind. And then Symphonium just hasn't even finished yet. You know, it's not even third. Out of three. It's a bad idea. There has to be somebody at a company who, you know, like a jester at a court. A jester at a court, right, was the only person who could laugh and make fun of the king and could turn around and show them the folly of their ways. Obviously, everybody would take, everyone would, like, pick on the jester because they were usually fucking a, a small person and... They would get it all the time, but the jester was the only person who could make fun of the king and say no to them and show, hold a mirror up to them. Every company needs somebody like that to turn around to the person in charge and say, you're making a fucking terrible mistake. You, this is not good. Um, this is not, this is not good. Very not good. I would never buy that. I've paid 11 quid for that sample. And I've paid 11 quid for fragrances before that I've enjoyed more. Such as Bogart Pour On. Uh, not Bogart Pour On. What's it called? Is it Signature? 
No, it is. Bogart Paul Rum. Bogart Paul Rum. I paid like 11 quid, 10, 11 quid for it. Brilliant for it. For 10, 11 quid. Cherry vanilla tobacco thing. That's not the point, though. That's bad. It's not a good fragrance. It's bad. So, if anything changes, I will come back and admit the error of my ways and say that, yes, it turned into something brilliant. It is on my skin. It is a parfum, so it has time, but on first impression, that is how I feel. Thank you for sticking around with us for 26 minutes of a first impression. I appreciate it. I will see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye.